Meghan Markle could delay getting pregnant with her first royal baby for a very practical reason. The Duchess of Sussex is likely to put her health first as she embarks on her first royal tour in October. She travels with Prince Harry to Australia, Fiji, the Kingdom of Tonga and New Zealand, with a pair in Sydney from October 2027 for the Invictus Games. Meghan will most likely want to avoid all the side effects that come with traveling while pregnant, especially since all eyes will be on her during this highly anticipated tour. The NHS says most women are able to travel safely while pregnant, but remind expecting mothers of the potential symptoms and to be cautious. Traveling in the first 12 weeks of pregnancy can be difficult because of nausea and overwhelming exhaustion. The risk of miscarriage is also higher in the first three months, according to the NHS. Furthermore, traveling longer for more than four hours carries a small risk of blood clots or deep vein thrombosis. Sarah Reynolds, a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at the Bedford Hospital NHS Trust said, travel during pregnancy is a concern for many women. But if your pregnancy has no complications then there's no reason why you can't travel safely as long as you take the right precautions. With this health advice in mind, the pair could be following the in the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's steps to wait to have a baby just like they did. Kay did not announce her pregnancy until seven months after her first wedding anniversary in December 2013. Kate and Prince William were the first future monarchs in 200 years not to have conceived in the first year of their marriage. William's commitment to his beloved grandmother, the Queen, and his duty as a future king of the UK are said to be the reason the couple started their family a little later. Royal author Gil Knappett said, It is thought that William and Catherine, as newlyweds, may have delayed staring a family so that they could participate fully in the Queen's Diamond Jubilee celebrations in 2012. Part of William and Catherine's commitment to the Queen in her Diamond Jubilee year involved the young couple touring Asia on behalf of Her Majesty in September 2012. Furthermore, Kate and Will had a busy year visiting Singapore, Malaysia, where they visited Kuala Lumpur and Sabah, the Solomon Islands and Tuvalu and the South Pacific. Meghan and Harry are thought to be keen to increase their engagement with Commonwealth nations after the prince took on the role of Commonwealth Youth Ambassador in April.